Hey everyone, Video4BT here. Today I want to show you how you can apply motion blur to already shot footage. So for example, let me take a look at this shot right here. Let me just render it out real quick. Now this is a sped up shot. And if you look over here, there's not a lot of motion blur when there should be. It's a pretty fast moving shot. So to add motion blur, if you go over to the effects panel and you type in pixel motion blur, I'll bring up this effect down here. Now it works best in 32 color depth range. So let's make sure that we're at 32. And to do that, you just click down there and highlight 32 and click OK. So we're good. Let's go ahead and click this and drag it on our footage. And already you can see right here, I'll on and off it for you. It has already added motion blur. So these are the default settings and they, they don't look too bad. So let's just watch this. And it's already looking a lot better. So when we pause it and zoom in, so this is where we need to do some fine tuning. So we see, actually see that there's what there's five samples. So that means that it almost is trying to merge five images together to kind of give the effect of motion blur. So to smooth that out, we go to our shutter samples and let's just add one and see if that does the trick. Okay, it's a little better. Let's just let's jump up to eight. I think that might solve it. Okay, that looks pretty smooth. So let me just walk you through what each of these does. The shutter angle is pretty much how much blur there is or how much blur you want to add to the shot. So if you increase it, you can make the blur a little over exaggerated. And it also takes a little bit longer to render out as well. So keep that in mind. So let's go back to the default, which is 180. And if you go down to the vector detail, Pretty much if there is some warping going on, like around here, you would want to increase this and it will kind of smooth it out. I think we're having some issues due to our watermark, but initially it looks like our footage looks pretty good aside from the pixels around our watermark. And how this effect works is that it, it determines how far a pixel has moved since the last frame and it adds the appropriate amount of motion blur to it. So it's a pretty simple effect, yet it works really well. I'm going to go ahead and just put it side by side with a clip without motion blur so you can see the difference. So let's go ahead and delete the pixel motion blur from this one. And then we'll just play it on loop. All right. So as you can see the difference, there's the motion blur, and that's it without it. So that's how you apply motion blur to already shot footage.